So let's just get this started with how are you guys doing today? Good. Alright, my name is Kaylia Steiner. I'm the director for the real world scenes of the show. And I'm Bella Capel, the director for the other world scenes. And we're so happy to have you guys here. And we're really excited to show you our production of Coraline. Everyone in this show is part of the Comic Tech Theater Company. And we are the only theater class in all of Resident Unified. Um, we have four different programs, Theater 1, Theater 2, Stagecraft, and Friendships. As a Theater 1, you get to learn how to do basic acting. As a Theater 2, you get to learn how to direct. And as a, a Stagecraft student, you get to learn all the things that go into a production. And in Forensics, you learn speech and debate. Uh, we would like to give, give a round of applause for Mr. Barrett, who has, helped, who has allowed us to do this company for its third year. for all the parents who have been nothing but supportive of all, our, of all of our players. And can we get another round of applause for the Brown and the Sawyer family as they provide us with our new and improved sound system. And without them, you guys wouldn't be able to do these amazing actors. So here's some, uh, some little side notes for us. Can you guys please turn off your phones as it does disrupt the mic system? Um, also, no filming and photography during the show, as it'll already be professionally filmed and posted on the Computech Tigers, um, or Theater Company, sorry, YouTube channel. Um, refreshments are will be sold in the back during intermission in the back corner, as they are waiting to you. Um, the donations are also going to be held in the back corner um, with the box uh, at the box office. Um, also, uh, those in the center aisle, I see you guys, um, be wary and of your items and of your feet because we'll be using the um, center aisle for the show. So, without further ado, the Comic Tech Theater Company proudly presents Coraline. Yes, sir. 
yesterday, Mom. Uh huh. I could have died. That's nice. <laughs> so, can I go out? I think it's perfect weather for gardening. No, Coraline. Rain makes mud, mud makes a mess. But, Mom, I want things growing when my friends get here. Isn't that why we moved out here? Something like that. Then have the accident. Was it my fault you did that truck? I never said it was. I can't believe it! You and Dad get paid to run about plants and you hate dirt! Look, Coraline, I don't have time for you right now, and you have unpacking to do. Lots of unpacking. That sounds exciting. Oh, some kids left this for you on the front porch. What's this say? Hey, Jonesy, look what I found. Look familiar? Why do you? Huh, a little me. That's weird. What's his name anyway? Whitey, and I'm way too old for dolls. Hey, Dad, how's the writing going? Dad. Hello, Coraline and Coraline doll. Do you know where the garden tools are? It's pouring out there, isn't it? It's just rainy. What the boss say? Don't even think about going out, Coraline Jones. Then you won't need the tools. You know, this house is 150 years old. So? So, go out and explore it. Count all the doors and windows. And write that down. List everything that's blue. Just let me work. Twelve leaky windows. Lots of bugs in the back. One rusty old water heater. One boring blue boy in a painfully worn painting. And 12 incredibly boring windows. And 14 incredibly boring doors. All right, little me, where are you hiding?
Caroline. Want to hear about a new song? But my father doesn't play piano. No need to. This piano plays me. She's tall, she's Caroline. She's cute as mud in the eyes of everyone. Well, take your eyes on Caroline. When she goes around, she's the only one that I will ever have to meet. Oh, your eyes will be on Caroline. I'm sorry, but she told me to tell you that the blue was there. Caroline, wait. It's 
The mice asked me to give you a message. The jumping mice? Saturday night did not go through the little door. No such thing. The one behind the wallpaper? But it's all worked up. Ah, so sorry. It's not so The mice are a little mixed up sometimes. They didn't get your name wrong, you know? They call you Coraline instead of Caroline. Not Caroline at all. Maybe I was so too hard. How are you doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Can you chase me? Probably not. <laughs>
No one. You know, I've never been inside the pink palace. You're kidding. My grandma killed me. Thinks it's dangerous or something. Dangerous? Well, she had this twin sister, and then one day she disappeared. Disappeared? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Maybe she just like ran away. Why, boy? Let's go. Look, I got to go. Wait a minute. Back of your hand. Well, she says it's time for dinner, breakfast. Clothes. No one will have these. 
Core line, put them back. My other mother would get them. Well, maybe she should buy all your clothes then. So, what do you think is behind the little door in the apartment? I don't know. Not a family of the Jones imposters. Then why'd you lock the door? I found some rat crap and I figured you'd feel safer. They're jumping mice, Mom, and the dreams aren't dangerous, so the moats won't have had since we moved here. Your school might be fun. With these stupid uniforms? Right. Had to give it a try. So, how do you feel about a ketchup salsa mustard wrap for lunch? Are you kidding me? Have to go food shopping later. Dad's blood is something special. Bro, disgusting. You can pick out something you like. Oh, like these gloves? Look, Rowan, if things go well today, I promise I'll make it up. That's what you always say. Come on, we won't be long now. But I might be. Yeah, I'm real tired. I just need to see 
keep on things. Well, of course you do, darling. I'll be happy to check you in. Oh no, that's okay. You've done so much already. You're welcome. And I, we are great at all, darling. Soon, you'll be in our Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, let's go. Oh, 
the game. Lost everything. Thank you. 
Welcome to Slovak. 